all right guys now we have this checkout page ready okay so the next functionality is to place the order okay so uh, in this one we are going to handle this place order functionality so before we do that we actually want to store this uh, uh, billing address and all those stuff right so for this we need we'll need some uh, you know database tables okay okay i have this sheet here so here you can see uh, these are the models we are going to create for the uh, order functionality okay so in the, the first one will be payment of course we are going to store all the payment details inside the payment table okay so this is the uh, model and in the order model we are actually going to store the order number and the payment foreign key and this uh, uh, billing address and if the order is purchased or not okay and all these ip address and all these things okay so in the order product table we are actually going to store the information about the product which is ordered okay so uh, we need two tables okay so we cannot just uh, add the products inside uh, one table okay so because uh, order is one and inside the order we can have multiple uh, products right so that's the reason we are going to create uh, two products uh, you know two uh, two uh, database tables for this product okay and this one is payment okay so uh, in the uh, as you can see here we have uh, we have created a, a foreign key uh, for this payment in the order model also we have created uh, um, a foreign key and uh, uh, you know a foreign key for this order as well as uh, payment in this order product model okay so all these are actually interconnected all right so what we are going to do is uh, we are actually going to store these data before uh, the payment uh, successful okay so like before uh, you make the payment we are going to store all these information okay so we are also going to generate the uh, order id here in this uh, in this uh, uh, order model okay so once the payment is successful what we'll do we will just transfer all the cart item to this uh, order product model okay so that uh, uh, so that uh, we'll uh, we will see all the uh, products that are ordered okay so once that is done and we'll also delete the cart item okay so because uh, once the order is completed you know once the order is successful then we of course we we need to clear the cart item and also we need to decrease the product quantity okay so if for example if i have uh, you know if the inventory has like 100 products and i i purchase the uh, 10 products then then uh, after completion of the uh successful order we need to decrease that uh, 10 products then the remaining product quantity will be uh, 90 in the inventory okay so that's how it works and and at last we'll be uh, sending the order received email to the customer okay so that's uh, that's the uh, flow you know this is just a basic flow okay and nothing uh, uh, very complicated in this and uh, you'll also get to know so many things while working with this uh, uh, you know uh, this flow all right so let's get started with the with creating these uh, models okay so first of all uh, to handle all these models we are going to create a new app called orders okay so let's go to this code all right uh, let me i think i closed my code okay so i'll just say open with uh, with the atom all right let me run it for now anyways uh, see uh, what we um, all right i think we have uh, some code to push to the github right so what i'll do i'll just stop the server just see what is there to push we have we have some account views cart uh, you know context okay so i'll just say git add minus a okay we'll first uh, push all this code to the github before we get started with the orders okay now let's say git commit minus m uh, we can say handled uh, cart and checkout page for the logged in users okay now i'll say git push origin main So I think it's better to start with the new video. Okay. So uh, what I'll do, I'll just uh, stop this video for for now here, and I'll I'll see you in the next one.